In this brief lecture, we look at the area of a circle. There is an interesting geometric result that falls naturally into this section on limits. Some time ago in school, we each learned that the area of a circle was, the, was pi times the square of the radius of the circle. That is, area is pi r squared. Why is that true? <coughs> the area of a circle can be derived from combining the area of a triangle with the limit concept. Imagine that we divide a circle into lots of small sectors, like those on the left, drawn in yellow. We might view these small sectors as triangles. They're not quite triangles. Their bases are slight curves, not straight lines. But in the limit, this will not matter. If we view these small sectors as triangles, the height of a triangle appears to be the radius r. Let S be the arc length of one of these small sectors, the small curved base, and approximate the area of a sector by one-half RS, one-half the height times the base, using the standard formula for the area of a triangle. By the way, that standard formula is easy to derive quickly from the area of a rectangle. And so from the area of a rectangle, we get the area of a triangle almost immediately. Here we want to use that formula for the area of a triangle by thinking of the area of a sector as one-half rs. The circle, though, is made up of lots of these triangle-like sectors. If the circle is made up of, say, n sectors, as in the picture below, then the area of the circle is approximated by one-half rs, the area of a sector, times n, the number of sectors. But if S is the arc length of the base of a sector, and if we have N of these sectors, then Sn is the circumference of the circle. So we can replace Sn in our equation by C, the circumference. So the area of a circle is 1 half R times C. This statement is true in the limit. If we imagine dividing the circle into more and more triangles, then in the limit, the sector areas become triangle areas, and the equation above can be rigorously defended. We can think of this equation, area is one-half RC, as a triangle area statement, one-half the height of any of these little sectors, that's the radius, times C, the total base as we go around the circle. One, the area of a circle is one-half the radius times the circumference, and this is supposed to look like the area of a triangle because it's related one-half height times base. This is a nice equation for the area of a circle since it relies on the area of a triangle. If we think of R as height and C as the base or the circumference around the circle as we go around it. But of course, most people replace their circumference by the value C is 2 pi R. And so if I substitute in, instead of saying the area is 1 half RC, I say the area is 1 half R 2 pi R. The 2's will cancel, and so we get pi R squared. In summary, think of the circle as a triangle, in this bizarre way, or lots of little triangles, with height R and base C. So the area is 1 half the height times the base. Replace C by 2 pi R, and presto, you have the equation we all know as the area of a circle. This involved both limits and the concept of triangle area.